Hi there, I'm back and I want to do a short video today with my Betty Crocker glass bolt food chopper. Uh, a little bit ago, I want to say maybe a month or two ago, on one of my videos of this little chopper, somebody uh, commented and asked me if I make guacamole in this chopper and I do uh, use it often. Um, I didn't used to use it for guacamole, I just kind of used a fork and then chopped everything by hand, all the hard things like the onion, garlic and such. But I decided to give it a try and I absolutely love it. So now I use this all the time to make guacamole. So I'm just going to show you how I make mine real quickly here. And what I like to do with this is, now if I were doing this in a bowl or a, one of those big mortar pestle um, type things, you'd put the avocados in and sort of mash everything into it. But with this, it's going to puree them into baby food um, by the time you get all the harder vegetables um, chopped down to the consistency you like. So I like to put the harder things in first. So that is going to be my onion. I have some red onion here that I just quartered. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I have a clove of garlic. You can certainly use more if you really, really like garlic. I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. That kind of helps break things down a little bit faster. And I have one jalapeno. And today I went ahead and left, left the seeds in. Don't mind a little bit of heat there. <laughs> and this video will be posted on Saturday, May 5th, so happy Cinco de Mayo to you. Let's get these going first. There we go. Alright, and we don't want, well I don't anyway, I don't want baby food. I, I like to have a little texture in my guacamole. So that is our evenly chopped onions, garlic, and the jalapeno. I'm just gonna take my spoon here and just sort of knock, knock that down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to add my, I'm gonna add all the flesh from two avocados. My avocados are a little bit on the small side, so I usually use like two or three I happen to have two on hand, so we're going to do two. And I just use my, a teaspoon and just kind of go around and just scrape around the skin to get it all out of there. That's, for me, the fastest way to get it out. You could also just put it over the bowl or whatever you're mixing it in and squeeze the skin really tightly and it all just ooze right out of there as well. That's really quick too. It is a bit messy. <laughs> So, you will have some avocado on your hands. Okay. Get the rest of that out of there. All right, and then the last ingredient I'm gonna put in is the juice of half a lime. I do not add cilantro to mine. I really 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 do not like cilantro at all it's for me it's just the the flavor is just too overpowering and anything it's in whether it be guacamole or salsa or or Thai cuisine it for me it's just overpowering that's all I can taste and nothing else so I leave that out you could also add just add flat leaf parsley to this if you want now this I just want to pulse because my avocados are very ripe and very soft I just want to make sure all the pieces get blended in, so let's see what we've got here. Yep, that looks pretty good. I, I don't even mind, in fact, I prefer a few little chunks of, of avocado in there. So again, you don't want, I don't want the baby food texture. And we just mix that all up together. You can see there is a little bit of texture here. And you can see the onions and the garlic. I even see the seeds from the jalapeno. So I'm making this in the afternoon, early afternoon. I'm going to store it in the fridge and we'll have some homemade quesadillas tonight with some homemade tortillas. And my husband always likes to roll everything up for a burrito. So let's just take a quick taste of this. I don't have any chips out right now, but I do want to taste it. Mmm. It is so good. Guacamole 
is one of the most heavenly foods on earth, I swear. I just absolutely love it. And I'm not a person that eats raw onions very often, but it just works so well with the avocados. I absolutely love this. So, if you'd like to make my recipe, I will post it right below the video. And again, that is for in my uh, Betty Crocker Glass Bowl Food Chopper. And uh, I hope you have a great day. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and happy Cinco de Mayo. Bye-bye.